Okay then, in this video we will discuss vector layers in Leaflet. First of all, let's clarify what a vector layer is. Well, vector data refers to the geometric shapes such as points, lines and polygons. So to show you those points, lines and polygons, I have opened up a geojson.io and in here I have three different vector data types. So the first one is point, this is point data. Then I have line in here, that's line. Then we have polygon. So these are three different vector data types. So if you display any of these in leaflet, so then you will have your vector layer. That's what a vector layer is. So now another thing that I would like to point out regarding vector data is you can style them at the client side. So let's say you have point data, you can style it. Or if you have polygon, you can style it, for instance, to make horoplet maps. So I think that's um, clear enough. So now let's have a look into uh, vector layers in Leaflet. So for that, let's go to the official website of the Leaflet. And in here, we have a section called vector layers. So in here, we have different vector layers. So the first one is path. That's not a vector layer. It's just a abstract class and other ones like polylon, polygon, they have been derived from this pass abstract class. All right. So by itself, pass is not a vector layer. So then we have polyline, polygon, rectangle, circle, etc. So if you scroll up a little bit, we have another section in here called UI layers. So I think that's user interface layers. So I think they call it UI layers because in here we have a marker and marker can be interactive because it can be clickable. So when a user, for instance, clicks on the marker, it can display some additional information. That's why I think they call it UI layers. But basically this marker is just one type of vector layer. So it's just point layer. All right. So then we have on the other, other layer section, we have GeoJSON. This is also, uh, it's just one form of the, uh, GeoJSON is a, just a format which is used to store, you know, vector data. Like you can store, you can store point data, polygon data. So it's not a separate layer, it's just a format. So I don't know why they call it GeoJSON. I mean, I don't know why they, uh, put this one on the other layers section. So anyway, so let's implement a very simple one. So let's implement a marker in leaflet. So first of all, let's go to this marker. So as I said before, uh, marker is just a point which can be clickable. So you can read this one in here as well. So it says L.marker, that's a class name, is used to display clickable or draggable icons on the map. So if you would like to implement a marker, so what you need to do is you first of all need to call this function l.marker and then afterwards you need to specify um, latitude and longitude and later on uh, and, and then afterwards you can specify some options. So it's in here. So L marker, latitude and longitude and then options. So options are in here. So you just pass these options to the class uh, and that's it. And you pass them using uh, curly brackets as an object. So, and then you need to add this one, oh, sorry. And then you need to add this one to the map by calling this method add to, and then the name of the leaflet uh, map object. So let's implement this one. So it's gonna be a very simple one. So in here we have, we have this. So we have two, uh, base maps and then we have this Perth image overlaid on top of our base map. So this is a city called Perth. So for this city, let's implement a marker. So it's going to be clickable marker. So once you click, so you will see an additional information which says, okay, this is a city Perth, for instance. So let's implement this. So for that, let's go to our code and let's go to main.js. And in here, first of all, what we need to do is we need to, um, let's create a variable because I like storing, you know, layers in a variable. 
So I'll just say const and then perth marker. So um, I can also create a comment, so perth marker. So then what we do is l.marker. So then in here we need to we need to pass latitude and longitude. And currently I don't have the latitude and longitude for this city, but from the previous tutorial we know that we can easily get it by saying hey my, my map dot on and then whenever there is a click we can st uh, we can pass the this event as a parameter to this function and then all we need to do is just console log and then dot e then we have a property call it lat lng right so that means whenever there is a click this function will be fired um, with the event parameter so then we're just printing out this event click and then we're just accessing this lat and long property so this should give us this should give us uh, lat and long uh, for the click so so let's open up the console so like this so now if I just click to this, so I should get a latitude and longitude for the city of Perth. So let's copy, and this minus is very important because if you say plus 32, you will end up uh, in the in the North Pole, not in the South. Uh, so now we just pass this latitude and longitude to this uh, L dot marker uh, class, and then following that what we can do is we can pass on some options so let's do that so and let's have a look what options we have so if we go to the documentation we have icon so that means if we would like to uh, create the custom icon we can use that but if you don't specify it it's going to be default icon and you will see what the default icon looks like in a minute then we can have keyboard title uh, a alt so title so is as you can see read in here as you can read in here it says text for the browser tooltip that appear on the marker hover so that means when you hover over the marker this title or this string will be displayed so let's do that so and then we have some other ones like alt so alt that's for screen readers so it says text for alt attribute of the icon image so screen reader will will read this uh, this string all right so then we can specify opacity and etc so let's do that so let's add title so for the so for for this city uh, uh, for for the title i write per city that's it and then i think that's enough or we can also specify opacity so let's make it semi-transparent so that means 0 0.5 because one is non-transparent 0 0.5 means 50% transparent so that means you can see what's going on under uh, beneath this uh, marker so you can see opacity that's one so let's do uh, let's add this one to our map so add to my map so we have added this purse uh, city marker to our map so it should be now available in our leaflet application so if you go there so as you can see i'll turn off this so we have this one and it's 50 percent transparent and if i hover over this uh, per city it's displaying it's showing me additional information so per city so if you don't like this opacity you can make it one so in that case you will not have any transparency so as you can see it's non-transparent so i think that's clear so then we have some events relating to this l dot marker class methods etc and etc then we have pop-up so let's discuss this pop-up very briefly so this pop-up is used to show additional information when you click on the marker so because for instance we have a marker so right now it doesn't have any pop-up but if we add add in a pop-up so that means whenever a user or if you when you click on the marker it's gonna pop up that additional information so and, and the way we 
add in pop up to marker is uh, this one it's very easy so this is the easiest one so for that you just specify your marker so in our case we have a variable call it purse marker so it's going to be this and then dot and then bin pop up and then pop up content so they are passing this pop up content as uh, in the form of variable but you can directly pass in you know um, string and then open pop-up if you would like to open up this pop-up uh, by default when the when the application loads up so alternatively this is a little bit more complicated one so it's the same pop-up but in here first you need to create that pop-up uh, you need to create a, or you need to initialize pop-up object so this one so and you initialize it by calling l dot pop-up class and then you need to specify latitude and longitude for your pop-up and then you need to specify the content and then open on and then you specify the leaflet map object that's it so but this one is the easiest one so let's copy this and let's go to here and right after this marker so let's paste this one and instead of marker we need to we need to put our variable for the marker so then or if we want we can store it in a variable so let's store it maybe in a variable so const purse mar uh, marker pop up like this so then we have this but for the content I'll just say Perth city so from the pop-up so now it should just display this text whenever we click on the pop-up uh, sorry on the on the icon so let's do that so so it's just uh, opening this one up by default because at the end of the variable we we said okay open this up so we have a method we're calling a method call it open pop-up so if you just delete this one it's not gonna be open by default so as you can see so I'll just do this so it's not open but if I hover over it says per city if I click it says per city from the pop-up so that's um, that's uh, pop-up so now let's quickly discuss the next one which is tooltip so this one tooltip so so we already have tooltip on our marker but that's just another way to initialize tooltips in leaflet so that so I would like to explain what tooltip is so the tooltip shows additional information on hover right so and I would like to point out the difference one more time so so the difference between them is pop-up shows information when you click on the marker while tooltip shows information on your hover that's a difference so let's implement this one and for implementing this it's very easy so you just copy this and then instead of previously it was bin pop-up so instead of bin pop-up you just say bin tooltip and that's it so let's do that so in here I'll just say const and then Perth marker tooltip tooltip like this and then for for this I'll just say post marker bin tooltip and then per city from the tooltip so now it just opens tooltip by default so we have two tooltips let's see what happens so if we just go there so we have per city from the tooltip if I just hover over we have two tooltips because we initialize tooltip at the time we uh, initialize this marker so that's per city as you can see that's right uh, below per city from the from the tooltip uh, information so if I click I have another pop-up so now I, since I have this one I can I don't think this one uh, I don't think so I don't think this one is necessary so I can delete this 
So, so now I have, so now we have this post marker, and then we have pop up, and then we have tooltip. So, we in this video we briefly discuss that marker, tooltip, and pop up in Leaflet. That's it regarding this video, and I will see you in the next one.